Although the end of the Cold War has eliminated the threat of mutual destruction, it has brought on a new and equally terrifying one, nuclear terrorism. This week in Beijing, China, Russian President Boris Yeltsin and Chinese President Yang Jiamin signed a historic agreement to help curb the smuggling of plutonium and nuclear components between their countries. And at the NATO summit in Brussels, President Clinton praised the ongoing reduction of weapons in the former Soviet Union. The agreement that the United States will sign with Ukraine and Russia will also make a major contribution to reducing the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. I believe President Kravchuk will honor the deal. They've already started to dismantle the missiles. The question that remains is what happens to the various components of these missiles once they've been disassembled. Unfortunately, international crime syndicates are making millions selling plutonium and other nuclear components to third world countries eager to get the bomb. These materials are stored in warehouses throughout Russia and the Ukraine. Government officials are not even sure how much of it they have. Barry Wilkes, NATO headquarters, Brussels. Okay, just bring it home. <laughs> as long as we're fighting with some ladies, that's it. Looking out the cool blue. Ooh, you know it. Getting sunburned, fat. <laughs> You're gonna look good, fat man. Hey, what the hell are these party favors? I think they forgot about us. Negative. We checking our guests. Okay, let's see what you're doing up there.
pimp. Because in general. My cars. Now, my triggers. Nuclear triggers. Welcome back. That boat is sounding better, but it ain't lying. Here. Take a look at it. Let me take a look. Fuckers are killing each other. Take a look. Guys, they're coming down the hill, man. Just give me a second. You're about done? Give me a second, goddammit!
got him, Mike. He's got me. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, give me up. Come on. Uh, come on. We're hooked on today. As soon as I rig up, you just grab on, you understand? Let me keep these guys down. Give me a hand, man. Give me a hand. I'm fucked up. What are you talking about? Give me your hand. No. Jonesy, don't fuck around. We don't have time. You got the best chance of getting the football off the field. Now go. Get back. Give me a hand. You let me out there. Let's go. Uh, uh, oh, no, we got it. Hold it up, me. Jonesy, get down here. Jonesy. Uh. Hey. 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 Easy. I got it. Guys, and do the lines. Let's check off. Come on, ladies and Hey, Skipper. I ain't paying while we sit here while you're trying to start this canoe. No problem. Just give me a minute. All right. Just get the hamster back on the wheel. All right. A good one. Asshole. Hey, Manson family member, bring me up a beer. About time. Stop! Stop! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Let me give you a hand there, Chiquita Banana. I promise I won't bruise you. Later, cutie. Oh, come on, let's start with the front. <laughs> Hey, cowboy, keep your hands to yourself. Up your skipper. Oh, shit. Not again. What happened? Son of a... Oh! I think you killed him. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Dead drunk. Could have used that money. Another late payment. <laughs> 
Can they repo boats? Donnie! Up top! Get this piece of shit off my boat. Yes, sir. Luther, give him a hand. Yes, sir. Hey, church, go downstairs and check the fuel pump. All right. Nice to see you too, Weston. I'm gonna go down and get another beer. I suggest you be gone by the time I get back. Hey, you might want to take a look at this. So two of them come out at once. Not in touch with the music at all. And also, one of them goes into splits. One bottle of water, please. Did he say bottle of water? Oh, soldier boy. Nothing like a handsome wool polyester blend to help beat the heat, huh? Say, Grant. Do I know you? No. You're just an ugly reminder of a nightmare we once lived, Sergeant. Blakely. You were Marines? Hella strange, but true. Oh! You're what they call washouts. Careful, Sarge. You'll find out why we washed out firsthand. And you wouldn't want that. Hey, check it out. Tight ass brass, five o'clock. Hey, that's Colonel Wolf to you, beach bum. This prison's in Quang Lai? Yeah. It's a couple of miles from that bridge where your op went sour. Intelligence thinks our friend the general's trying to process weapons grade plutonium in this shithole. Surprised you haven't leveled the place. <laughs> I planned on it. And then last week, one of our satellites shot those. And I realize, shit, if that's Jones, then... It's him. Why are you here, Wolf? Do you need a positive ID on Jones? Or do you need me to go back in and get him? Look, if it were up to me, I wouldn't even be here. But it seems you two got some fans at Langley and at the Pentagon. Oh, whoopie fucking do. That and the fact that you're expendable make you the ripest candidate for this shit mission. Besides, you might get a second shot at those triggers. We don't have much intelligence on the prison. It seems that nobody that goes in there comes out alive. I went into Lang Sun. I want a chopper at a designated point, ten minutes from my radio signal, and I want to be left alone. Done deal. I'm going to be at the consulate, but remember, you're not supposed to be in there, and neither is Jones. So if you fuck this one up, you're on your own. Hey, I may live just to piss you off. I doubt it. Hey, Wolf! This warm and fuzzy attitude, it's not like you. How come you didn't just take out Jones and the whole place with one big bang? I couldn't get it approved. I thought you said you weren't taking any more missions. It's not a mission. Bullshit, man. We saw the brass. How long are you gonna be gone? You can't just go. I mean, what are we gonna do? What am I, a goddamn babysitter? I don't know what you're gonna do. Plenty of nothing is my guess. I should be back in a couple of weeks. Other than that, it's a need-to-know basis, okay? Here. Keep her clean and running, all right? Wait, what? 
Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for the owner of that boat. You found him. That's strange. I thought Mike Weston owned that boat. Well, uh, he does. We do. We own a boating operation of sorts. I gave him the week off. You know Mike? Yeah, but I didn't catch your name. It's Kat. Well, my friends call me Kat. But you can call me Catherine. Ah, uh, humor. Ding, ding. Round two. I bet she's gonna mess him up. You're, You're on, on Kiki. Kiki. Perhaps you and I could go off a little sunset cruise. Look, I really need to see my question. How about a drink? Uh, Cheeky, put your daiquiris on my tab. <laughs> what tab? <laughs> She's kidding. Mm -hmm. um, what'd you say your name was again? Donnie. 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 Donnie, I need to ask you some questions, and you need to answer them. And if you persist with this lame line of yours, <laughs> I'm going to have to hurt you. Bad. Hey, I'm here for you. How about that drink? <laughs> Oh. Oh. My name is Catherine Weston, and I'm looking for my brother, Mike Weston. Mike has a sister? If he did, that'd be her. That is his boat out there. I'd like to go on board. I think I'll take you out to the boat now. Good boy. Is this all you have? All right. All right, set a meeting between me and the triads. Tell them I need a detailed map of the prison at Quang Lai. Get me something I can use, Fred. Sure, but they're dangerous. I'll get some men to go with you. No, no. Hey, just you and me. Listen, you just set the meeting, then you and I don't talk anymore in Vietnam. I want to help break Jonesy out. Who said anything about Jonesy? Stop bullshitting me, Mike. The two of you went into Kong Lai and only one of you came out. Now you want to break somebody out of Kong Lai prison? Here. What's this? A ticket and some money. Taking a vacation, Fred. A nice long vacation in Tahiti. You leave tomorrow morning. I've arranged it so you get through. You need me in Vietnam, Mike. God damn it, Fred. Listen to me. You're getting on that plane first thing tomorrow morning. You understand? Promise me you're going to be on that plane. Okay, okay. What? You sound like you don't want to come back. Mike hasn't called home or written in over a year. My mom's been having a fit. Do you guys have the key to this room? No. That's Mike's room. Out of my way. You really shouldn't be doing this. I'm his kid's sister. What's he gonna do? Actually, we're not concerned for you. Yeah, it's our collective asses he's gonna kid. Who's that? That's Jonesy. He and your brother are special tactics training officers. You were in the military? Why does everybody keep saying that? Well, maybe he can help us find Mike. He's dead. I'm sorry. Check. <laughs> so, uh, how come you guys aren't in uniform now? It was time to leave. Yeah, I'm getting kicked out. <laughs> We had this asshole sergeant who didn't like us very much. No. One night, he and his buddies decided to beat the shit out of us. Which they didn't. But he did have us arrested for beating his ass. That's true. Why aren't you guys in jail now? Would be if it wasn't for your brother. Only one that believed us over the sarge. To freedom. May our days be long and lazy. <laughs> Check me. So, what do you guys do now? We work for your brother. We're crewing on his boat. We're just hanging out in Tahiti for a while. And soon we shall sail around the world. When? Uh, I don't know. Whenever the time is right, I guess. Well, looks like you guys have got yourself some company. Nanny night.
down. Okay, Sit okay, down. okay. Easy. Take it easy. Sir, we found nothing. Check the bathroom. Sir, we found this. You gotta be kidding. Urgent phone call for you at the bar. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Who is this? Fred? Fred with a P? Okay. Oh. Oh, shit. What? What is it? Is it Mike? Mike's been arrested. Good morning, Agent Weston. <laughs> or Mike, if I may. Would you happen to know what is the mandatory sentence for smuggling drugs into my country? More than a slap on the wrist, I'm sure. Life. But just like the chief of police, the honorable judge here, he's a good friend of mine. He's going to hand down a death sentence. You might want to run that by the U.S. consulate first. A CIA agent is sneaking back into my country with false identification? But I'm in no hurry to have you killed. As a matter of fact, I am prepared to have you flown back to Tahiti. Oh, guess I'll be on my way then, huh? <clears throat> Give me back the nuclear triggers that you stole from me. Intelligence has it that you secured these triggers in a case with a self-destruct mechanism. And that case never left Vietnam. Nuclear triggers? I have no idea what you're talking about. Weston, why do you think you are here? To save Jones? Where is he? Give me back the triggers. And the two of you can fly out together. Together? Is Jones sitting next to me? Or is he in a body bag and cargo? My guess is that we're both in body bags, right? Mike, listen to me. The war between our countries, America and Vietnam, it's over now. Believe me when I tell you, we are not arming against the United States. General, you have been given some false intelligence. The triggers did make it back to my superiors. I've got nothing to give you. Neither does Jones, but you probably already know that, right? Well, I see. How regrettable. You failed to take advantage of this small conversation between you and me. Because I fear it will be a lot messier if you have to talk later. This man here, he is Dr. Liu. Mike, is that really a doctor?
Red with a P. You don't eat? Yeah, yeah, let's go. U.S. Consulate now. Red, I advise you not to question her. You're gonna do what she wants you to do anyway. That way no one gets hurt. Yeah! Son of a bitch! Put him in the truck! You're going home! You're new home! <laughs> okay, guys, I'll wait right here for you. I did. Okay, so who do we talk to here? Well, look who's here. The hell are you misfits doing here? Look, uh, we need to talk to your colonel now, so why don't you pick up your little phone there and... Get him and his pleasant demeanor out here, soldier boy. Uh, I'm not with them, but I do wish to see the colonel, Sergeant... Blakely, ma'am. You see, Sergeant, my brother, a highly decorated Marine, is in some sort of trouble here in Vietnam, and I really need to talk with your colonel. You keep that bunch corralled, I'll see what I can do. The U.S. government is doing everything they can to get him out of this mess. Our attaché is running back and forth. Look, my brother is no dope dealer. Your being here is not a help, Miss Weston. If anything, you're going to attract the foreign press. Good. No, not good. Ex-Marine drug addict caught with heroin in Vietnam. <laughs> drug addict? A headline like that's not going to get him any sympathy. Now, the best thing that you can all do for him right now is to leave. I've already arranged for your travel. You what? Uh, Sergeant Blakely here will escort you. You are so full of... We know that you bought Mike here. Sergeant Blakely, escort our friends here to the conference room so they can wait for their ride. Yes, sir. to help him you know that is this your attempt to cheer me up soothe me sorry Luther, give me a cigarette. What? Give me a cigarette. Oh. What, I can't go out for a smoke? Go ahead. Oh, 
job so far. Yeah, you should have told me you're having a party. Right. I wish to God you weren't here. I don't know why I'm not dead. Why is he keeping me alive, Mikey? Why doesn't God keep asking me about his nuke triggers? I blew it, Jones. I dropped the ball. The triggers never made it back. <sighs>
Now listen, you gotta tell me what the hell's going on, Fred. Why did Mike come back to Lang San? Come on, Freddy, you're not helping him now, you're hurting him. You're gonna kill him, man. Mike came here to break someone out of Kong Lai prison. The place he's being held now? Who? Who is he gonna break out? His name is Jones. Jones, he's alive? <sighs> How close is Nagai to weapons grade plutonium? I don't know, Mike. He's got a bunch of guys moving around a lot of toxic shit. Is he going to be able to reverse engineer the triggers if he gets hold of them? No, Mike, don't. I don't want to think about this stuff. I mean, I don't want to hear this stuff. I can't hold this guy. Information? Jonesy, I'm not giving you any information. No, no, I... No, Mike, you're a lot tougher than I am. I mean, there's stuff going on around you. There's stuff going on around here. Okay, 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 relax. Take a breath. Take a breath. I just need to hear what you know to get us out. I know that. It's okay. Forget it. We'll talk about it later. One step at a time. Okay. Listen, you holding out okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. It's good to see you. Back together again, right, Jonesy? Just like old times, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's the Jonesy I know. <laughs> the light that comes through those windows this time of day is so beautiful. You can almost float away on it. Sometimes, sometimes I just float away on it. It's on the program here. Oh. What is it? What is it? You just hang in there, Mike. Don't think about me. Just hang in there. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Don't don't just hang on. Don't hang. Nobody wants to come here. That's why it's safe. <laughs> come on, guys. Uh -huh. come We're all set. Tomorrow morning, we buy the plan of the prison. Mike left me some cash. Thank you, Fred. One thing. These men selling the plan are dangerous. Try it. Gangsters. Great. Would you happen to know how much plutonium will it take to blow up, say, New York City? <laughs> you set that off in Central Park. They probably won't be trading on Wall Street the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> really, Mike, I like you. But I still have to have my triggers. You are wasting your time. Let's get it on. You gonna work me over personally? Or do you just like to watch? Nobody is going to work you over. Mario.
smell. It takes time before you get used to it. But we're lucky. There is a little breeze tonight. Hey, Mike. Hey, Jonesy. I'm right here. Apparently, you did not tell your friend what I need to know. Now, I'm appealing to you directly. Where are the triggers and what is the code? Fuck him, Mike. Don't tell him bastards a thing. Mike? Go to hell, you sicko. They can't hurt me, right, Mike? Because I've been here too many times, right, Mike? Come on. Tell me. Mike, come on, say it! Th that's right. They can't hurt you, Jonesy. That's right. I'm not feeling a thing, right? Right, right. They can't hurt you, no way. You're the man. That's right, I'm the man. I just rolled up the big blue ball, right, Mike? And roll that out of here. Right, Mikey? That's right, Jonesy. I'm beginning to lose my patience with you. You don't even amuse me anymore. I'm gonna rip your fucking heart out. I have no heart. Dr. Liu, proceed. I'll give you the triggers. I'll give you the fucking triggers. You will tell me where they are. No. And you will give me the code. No. No. I'll take you to them, both of us. I'll give you the triggers. You let us go. I'm not going to leave him here with that animal. No way. Deal. Set it up. There's four of them. see the money. Yeah, well, what do we get for the money? Map of the prison, the guard schedule. It's the same plan they used to break out his cousin. Totally guaranteed. How much? Ban Yu. Anko Ban Yu. How much you got? Excellent. You stick with them. I'm going to call Captain Fa and have every single one of them deported. Right. Yes, it's Mike Weston's sister. Look, I think we can avoid an ugly situation if uh, your local police would escort them to a plane. Yes, Colonel Wolf. We'll take them immediately to the airport. Thank you, Colonel Wolf. Thank you. Then do not away from the Cool. Now that we got the plans, can you get us some weapons? You have no weapons? Oh, shit. Please it's empty your pockets of all valuables. Jewelry? Oh. And watches, too.
so low, clown people. this all about these are general and the guy's men i suggest we go now how the hell did they find us good guy coming out good guy coming out holy shit sarge i saw you take care of some shit out there and we thank you for it but we got guns now and we're not going with you let's go on river i've got a boat there hang up i'm not trying to hold you i swear did you hear me? Colonel Wolf, the situation here is a lot worse than I thought. You're an idiot. He doesn't give a Get shit. Them on the plane. The police didn't show. Soldiers did. Look, Sergeant, I'm going to let you in on a little something. Mike Weston is expendable. And we don't give a damn about his sister or those kids either. Sir, they're escaping. Bringing in the reinforcements, huh? You got one. I'm coming with you. No way, sweetheart. Fuck it, man. Take him. Fine. Oh, one thing. Oh! I owed you that. I'm gonna rip hey, your face. Knock it off. God, like there wasn't enough testosterone in this place already. Dog? How about you? Scumbag? You a major scumbag? You don't understand the word I'm saying to you, do you? No. <laughs> hey, Jonesy, you hear me? What, Mike? This is it. We're on. What are you talking about? We're getting the hell out of here. I can't. I'm too tired. You don't have to do anything. Just follow my lead. No, you make your move. I won't slow you down. Six miles to pick up. Six miles. I'll carry you if I have to.
We on? Hey, hey, we on? Yeah, we're on. That a boy. Hey, Fred! How far away is the prison? Six miles, maybe seven. Pull these things over, we go the rest of the way on foot. Why, we're cruising in style. We're too close to the prison to be on this river. Uh, Jughead? Well, who puts you in charge? If you want to get out of this thing alive, we've got to start functioning as a military unit. I knew this was going to happen. Big man had to take control. Should have shot him back at the warehouse. All right, we'll vote. Vote! We don't need to vote. Holy shit! Guy, you want me going down the hole? You're gonna have to take these off. What's it gonna be? Can't repel down a hole with cuffs on, can you now, Jonesy? Uh uh. Now! Ah! To bail. They knew we were coming. You know that shit to say about your life flashed before your eyes? I saw it all, man. I'm such a loser. Where's Cat? Take a deep breath. Follow me.
get rid of this fucking box. We're out of here. Take yourself, come on, we're out the field. You know that. No, they're only slow us down. Give it to me, okay? No! Give me the code! Leave the triggers here and let us go! What are you talking about? Mike, I'm trying to save us. Give me the box. No! No! Give me the card! Box! Box! Here! Get the triggers! Here! Get the fucking triggers! Shoot him! But no cat. I say we wait. We wait, maybe she dies. Maybe we wait and we find out where she is down there. Maybe they find us. Now, we dig in for the night, disappear. We dig it in now. I vote we wait. Yeah. Me too. I don't fucking believe what I'm hearing. What if we go in and we can't find her? It's not like we're gonna get a second chance. Hey man, he was fully right about the boats. Come on, man, just because he's a sergeant doesn't make him wrong. I don't know about church being the voice of reason, man. Yeah, it's not attractive on him at all. He's right. Let's dig in. Oh, sweet home. He would have let us go, you know. Let us go? Do you think he was going to let us just walk out? Bullshit! As soon as he gets the code, we're dead! Maybe. Nice cheap shot, Mike. Why? Why would you give him the triggers? Who gives a fuck who has the triggers? You think the CIA or Colonel Wolf gives a shit about you or me? No. This has nothing to do with Wolf. This has to do with doing the right thing. Think of all the people he's gonna kill with those triggers. Personally, I don't give a fuck if he blows up this whole country. Because I'm not gonna be here. He's not even close to having weapons grade plutonium. And without that, the triggers are useless. Listen to yourself. Oh, man, listen to yourself. Say it over and over, maybe you'll start believing it. Or maybe I'm not thinking too clearly right now. But I'll tell you one thing, partner! You're a fucking torture, you that to you! You gave me a heart, didn't you? You gave me my name. You saw what they did to me. You saw. I never would have given you up. Never! Yeah, I gave you up, Mikey. I told him I once had a good friend named Mike West. And you dropped the football. It's you that kept me alive. It's you I went through a year of hell. You fucked up, Mikey. It should have been you in here for the last year, not me. Don't you think I know that? Don't you think I thought about that every night for the last year? You're right. It should have been me. Should have been me. Fundy! Hold him! I've had my shower. Where's breakfast? Gentlemen, such a lovely day outside. I'm inviting you for a stroll. Jones? 
gave you the coat? Oh, yeah. Well? You got a plan, we're with you, Sarge. We better make it fast. American girl? It's my kid's sister. My patrol, they found your friends from Tahiti. Now the choice is yours. This or this. Eleven, fifteen, sixty. Eleven, fifteen, sixty. That's your coat. Your birthday. You will open it for me. Back out. Back out. Open it. Open it! Wait, wait. Oh, one. Oh, eight. Thirty-five. Elvis' his birthday. What you have done is nothing to be ashamed of. You, your friends, your sister, all of you will not have died in vain. This is General Wee. Laboratory under attack. Send in the enforcements now! Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on
right, listen up. Uh, Two miles down the road, there's a clearing. You wait for us there, you understand? Give me the gun. You okay? Hey, loser. Go, go! Tom? I don't hear no foul lady. She ain't singing to me. Yeah. You ever get that boat? Oh, yeah. Nice? Sweet. Time for reinforcements. You read my mind.
Operation Nomad. Operation Nomad, I am trigger happy. Repeat, I am trigger happy. I got a flight to catch. Bring it down. Hey guys, hey, get on board. Look, we've done some thinking. Yeah, it's too unproductive to hang with you guys. About time we did some with our lives, man. So we decided not to go to Hawaii with you. Wow. You sure, I can't change your mind. No, no, sir. sir. Nah, they're right, Mike. They should seek their own destiny. Good luck, guys. Mike, Mike, Josie, we're hey. ready. Hey. <laughs> Life is like a hurricane when the wind blows You sit in the eye of the hurricane You sit in the eye of the hurricane Reading the Bible calling his name When the wind blows A war is like the hurricane Everybody go insane A wrath is like a burning flame
Now hurricane that's over me, story the gentle sea, love become a cool 